Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. The way you do that is by not involving yourself in situations that you can't handle. In other words, don't be a one-hit wonder. Don't be someone who wants to turn somebody on and then turn somebody off. It's not wise. It's not healthy for them, and it's not good for you. It's not good for your soul. What you really want is someone who really sees you, someone who really feels you, and somebody who really wants you. If in your soul you're starting to hear God say, Hey, you know that guy you met the other day who was kind of cute and not gay? I would encourage you to give him another chance because he's not going to jump into romance the first time he meets you, but he might really like you and he's ready to greet you. So why don't you think about what we're saying to you as angels around you, that the guy you're with may not be right for you, but that guy you just met is totally right for you and totally right for you in so many ways that you can't get out of it. But the reality is you don't know yet because you haven't unraveled that onion, you haven't scaled that mountain, you haven't discovered that situation because you're so used to what you're used to. Why don't you try something new? Why don't you feel something experienced instead of something blue? And what I mean is that it's easy to find someone who's not right for you. It's harder to find somebody who is totally right for you. And God usually gives signs of people who are right for you. He gives signs about your name. He gives signs about your kids' names. He gives signs about you all over the nation. And openly, you're probably seeing them too, but you don't always recognize them because you're not looking for the God signs around you.